Yes. So Anirudhan, to cross check, I brought uh, an instrument that can measure capacitance. It can measure inductance also. So first we will do the capacitance measurement. Yes. So I have connected this to the breadboard. It's already showing some 1.4 pico. Okay, so that is the capacitance of the breadboard itself. Breadboard, also, also this the uh, lines, cables. The okay. And uh, two capacitors we have. So we'll measure them individually. Mm. I'm going to use the breadboard. So this is showing 96, 97 nanofarad. 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 Okay. So like we said, it's in microfarad, Micro nanofarad, picofarad. Yes. This uh, instrument is showing. So this is a 97 nanofarad. Uh, let's see the other one. The second one is uh, 100.8. 100.8. Okay. Now we'll put them in C parallel and see. Parallel. So maybe 100.8. So almost 101. Yeah. And you said 97. Seven. So 198. Yeah. Nanofarad yeah. is what I should see. Yeah. Okay. If everything is all right, that's what we yes. should get. Yes. 198.5. Perfect. So this is very well close, within very, very close. close to what we expect. Yes. Good. Yes. So two capacitors in parallel will add up. Yes. Very clear. Okay. We'll try the series also. We'll try the series. So also. series means we should get almost half. That's right. Of this. That's right. Let's try. So I'll uh, rearrange a little bit. So as we know, uh, I mean. Uh, these lines are not connected. So I am going to introduce uh, like mm. this. So this is in series now. 49.3. Mm. Perfect. 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 So it's uh, very close to half the capacity. Yes. Of so each. our equations are correct. Okay. So whatever we derive <laughs> mathematically is working out in real life yes. as well. Yes. Very good. Uh, so see, we mentioned about capacitors or capacitor by having plates in parallel. Yes. I was looking at in my lab and I found uh, something like this. Oh, that's a very interesting structure. Yes. So where you can actually have electrodes in one plane itself. Ah, I see. So the distance between the sides and the area, uh, the geometry between the sides decides the capacitance? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting. Yes. Only thing is they should not be touching each other. Ah, of course. Of <laughs> yes. course. We know that. Otherwise, it will yes. get shorted. Yes. So, it's also possible to get capacitors like this. Nice. Similarly, inductor, I was saying, you know, we will wind on a nail or on a finger and so on. That's right. But we can also make uh, inductor like this. Oh, I see. Okay. Where it's uh, in plane itself. In so, a plane itself, you have yes, coiled. Yes. So, we will see these Very details later. Okay. Sure. Sure. And okay. another inductor I have is like this. So, you can see a uh, lot of number of uh, yes. turns. Yes. And then there is some magnetic part also. Yes. By the way, I had a question. I am seeing this inductor coiled. Yes. Um, if I try coiling like this, will not the coils short between <laughs> each other? That's an interesting question. Actually, this okay. coil looks like a copper wire. Yes. It is copper, but there is a thin insulation on top of that. I see. So, uh, it's not very clear. See, you see a small color difference between this region and this region. Yes, no? I do. Yes. So, this region, I removed that insulation. insulation. I see. So, when you actually coil and to make an inductor, you don't want the uh, different uh, turns of the coil to actually short to each other. Yes. Okay, I see. Same here, you have the turn like this. Yes. As you can see, turn to turn, there is a very small gap. I see. Okay, okay. So, another inductor that we have here is this. Oh, okay. So, you can see, I mean, some of uh, turns yes. are wound here. Yes. On a small magnetic part. Oh, okay. We'll see how to make this, how to calculate the values later. Sure. We wanted to check whether the parallel series combination is correct. Is correct. So, but I have one question. Yes. So, you are showing me. So, you said that typically if you have more longer wire, more number of coils, it will give you larger inductance. Ah. So, shall I make a guess? Yes. That this inductance is going to be smaller than this one? 
yes yes we should try we, we, should we will we will cross it that's what our guess is let's see so i will uh, stop the capacitance measurement change to now it's uh, in uh, inductance measurement let's see this one how hmm. much it gives so this has uh, two pins i'm going to insert okay like this and uh, connect here it's a uh, 97.1 micro henry micro henry okay we'll see the other one also how much it gives sure Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. So both are almost ninety-eight. Almost the same. We'll put them in series. Hmm. Sure. Let's. So try. in series, uh, I'm supposed to get the sum of the two. Like for resistance. Inductors, like resistance. Great. So I'm using the breadboard to make series connection. So ninety-seven plus ninety-eight. Yeah. So I must be seeing about one hundred ninety-five or so. Or hundred and ninety. I think there is something wrong. Let me see. Two three two. How is that? I see. Can we measure the breadboard the inductance itself? That's a uh, very small. So showing open. Yeah. Open. Yeah. So it's very yeah. small. Yeah. Okay. Let me measure the. Series once again, ninety-seven. It's maybe more. We, yes. They, so, maybe they are physically very close. Very close. So, or can we maybe use a wire? Maybe we'll move it to yes. this side and use yes. a wire. Yes. Yes. Ninety-seven. Ah. Oh. Perfect. You are right. So series is coming now. Series is coming. But when I kept them at some distance. Yes. Could it be you are saying something about uh, inductance storing energy in the electromagnetic field? True. Uh, is it possible that there was something going on between, between these two? Between these two. So when these two coils are nearby. Yes. There is something else. It there is, is added to it. That is correct. I wonder what that is. Something mutually, they are doing something. Mutually, they are doing something. They are affecting each other. Maybe we should discuss that uh -huh -huh. in more detail later. Later, in another. So, class is this uh, the mutual inductance that we see in the textbook? Uh, that is correct. Huh? The textbook has something called mutual inductance. Okay. We should definitely see that because that is going to require a separate class by itself. Yes. Because yes. so we need to see the theory first, then do the And experiment. Then, yeah, but experiment. Sometimes jumps ahead of theory. Yes, it is actually it taught us something. Taught us something. Correct. Great. Correct. So I am guessing hmm. a few hundred years ago hmm. when Michael Faraday was doing his experiment, <laughs> yes. he must have seen something similar. Yes, yes. When he saw inductors. Yes, and then he must have thought about it and then came up with the theory. That is correct. So we will. We are also doing something similar now. <laughs> yes, yes. Great. So. Uh, One last question, Bobby. Hmm. Um, before you break this apart, actually, we need to do the parallel measurement. Yes, yes. So, uh, but after that, I had a question. So, let's do the parallel one, yeah. and then I have a question. Yes, we will do the parallel first. Yes. Maybe we'll maintain the same distance. Yeah, I'll use uh, additional wires.
49.3. So it's half of what yes. we expect. So they are in parallel. Correct. So you're getting half the inductance. Yes. 98 by 2. L1 into L2 by L1 plus L2. Plus L2. Perfect. Perfect. So the series and parallel working together. Working together. I mean working perfectly. Yes. Provided they are not interacting each other and this mutual inductance is negligible. It's now. negligible. Correct. Great. Perfect. Great. You had some other question. Yes, I had some other question. So to make an inductor. Yeah. We are just taking a wire yeah. and winding it. Correct. If I were to measure the resistance, normally mm. wire we say that it has almost no resistance. Mm. Yes. Can we measure the resistance of the inductor and see what it looks like? I almost expect it to be almost zero. Should be showing a short circuit or something. You should have some very any some very small resistance. Very small resistance. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. see. So I'll change to resistance measurements. Yes. By the way, how does it measure resistance? To measure resistance, I can, uh, you know, send a current okay. and measure the voltage across that resistor. Correct. From the Ohm's law, we can From find Ohm's out. Law we can find out. Or I can apply a voltage and measure the current. Measure the current. Okay. Both, both ways we can do. Okay. So, maybe what it will do, it will send a current and measure the voltage. Yes. And uh, so, it does either of those two. Yes. But now the resistance measure should be very small. Very small. Very small. Actually, you are right. It shows 0.6 min ohm. Oh, okay. Less than 1 ohm. Less than 1 ohm. So it is very small. Yes. Very, very small. Okay. We will try the other coil. We'll try the other coil. Also. So this uh, we were expecting that it will give more inductance. Correct. Correct. But this uh, mutual inductance was amazing. Yes. Here I may have contact problem because this mm. wire is very thin. Yes. Okay. One thing, resistance is much more now. Okay. Or uh, it must be because it's a much longer coil. Also, maybe this contact the contact, contact is not maybe a, yeah. Okay. Or I'll connect directly. Mm. Because this connection yes. is much better. Yes. Because we are only going to use one inductance right now. Yes. We will just connect it directly to the meter. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, it's some noticeable, noticeable resistance. resistance. <laughs> yes. Correct. Let's see the C value. Four point nine, four point nine milli henry. Milli henry. So the inductance value is much is more. Much more. Okay. Because this was uh, hundred close to hundred micro henry. Micro henry. So this is several times larger. Than yes. That. Yes. So actually, this core cannot be removed. If mm. we remove this part, it will come down. It will come down. Mm. Also, if we reduce the number of turns, again it will come down. I see. I see. So, just like we measured the resistance of the inductor, shall we try measuring the resistance of the capacitor? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very nice. So, actually, I brought a bigger capacitor. Oh, okay. See, this is small. Yes. Too small to measure. I mean, we measured, but yes. uh, uh, I would like to see something big like this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a really big capacitor. Okay. Perfect. Great.